Q&A, manual and automated testing. Planet. On May 30th, two NASA astronauts climbed inside a space capsule and launched on top of a rocket en route to the International Space Station. Hello, recruiters. How are you? In today's episode, we are going to talk about manual testing and automated testing, the difference between a Q&A and a software development engineering test. To begin with, uh, we need to understand what's testing. I'm for the quiz. Uh, yeah, you know what? Oh, too bad. Tough. First row, take one, pass it back for me. The stakes are high in this room. There's crucial things happening here every day. So let's find out what testing is all about. Testing helps find bugs in an application or software and also helps us testing the quality of this software. Those are the main focuses. Try to find errors and of course check the quality of the code or the app or software that we have. We have normally two types of testing. We have manual testing and automated testing. Manual testing is the most primitive way of testing and you cannot actually automate a testing if you have not used manual testing before. So manual testing will always be the first step to go uh, towards automated testing in the future. Manual testing, uh, it's the run of use cases to determine and, and again find, find different errors. One of the fundamentals on, and principles of testing says that 100 automation of testing is not possible. So that's why also manual testing will always be essential. Don't forget about this. In manual testing, we don't use any automation tools, as the name says. And that's why a role like a QA analyst can perform these tasks. Manual testing does not require programming skills or knowledge, whereas automated testing requires it. That's the main difference, right? So Q&A normally uh, will not happen to be always a software engineer. Now, let's move to automated testing. So automated testing is the same as manual testing with the same purpose, but with the difference that it's automated. You have scripts, libraries, frameworks that help you run thousands or, or hundreds of tests in less time. When you are doing automated testing, you will need a software developer or someone with programming skills. And here comes, for example, the software development engineers in test. They do automated testing normally, and they know about manual testing because that's the first phase, remember. Now, let's move forward with the types of testing that we have. You have heard about unit testing, integration testing, and end-to-end -end testing, for example. Those are the most common use uh, testings that we have. The first type is the unit test. So as the name says, it's one unit, one component. Let's say you have a web page and a login phase. In this component, in the username and password login phase, you are going to test if it's running smoothly and performing the task that you want. Here you can perform a unit test to check one unit, one component. The second one is end-to-end -end testing, end-to-end. -end. So basically, yes, it's the whole workflow, the whole process. It tests from, from the, the start point to the end point. Normally this is used uh, when you want to get things already uh, tested before launch and test the, the whole workflow. It's useful, but it can take a little bit more time than the unit test, so you need to uh, mix both. And then you have integration tests. Integration tests, let's say they are in the middle. So the unit test takes one, the end-to-end, -end, it's everything. The integration test is it's in the middle. So you take two or more components and you check if they are running good and they don't have any bugs and so on. So remember, unit test one, integration test two or more, and end-to-end, -end, everything. And super important, as a conclusion, normally a Q&A uh, does not need to know uh, a programming skill and they do manual testing. 
but in automated testing you will need a software developer or someone that knows about programming to perform automated testing don't forget about that i hope you understand a little bit more about testing please hit the like button and also uh, subscribe to the channel to show some support and i will be seeing you in the next episode bye